It's all good. Thanks for watching Crokono Center. This is the second semifinal of the London Crokono Tournament. In this match, we have Ray Beerling facing off against Robert Bonnet. Bonnet with a hanger 20 shot here, which he converts. Ray Beerling scores the open 20. Robert Bonnet leaving that open 20 short. Ray Beerling with a chance for a hanger 20. Can't get it to go. Leaves the disc in an okay spot, though. There's a tough fall through. 20 for Robert Bonnet. Another hanger, 20 shot, missed by Beerling. But again, another decent placement of his, of his disc. Robert Bonnet miss hit on that follow through. Lose the shooter off the board. Open 20 chance here for Ray Beerling, but he misses it long. Another hanger, or uh, fall through, 20 shot for Robert Bonnet. But another lost shooter. Although he'll have another chance here because Ray Beerling missed that open 20 again. Oh, nice fall through 20 from Bonnet. Pressure's on Beerling now. Missed a couple of open 20s. He's going to try from the other side here. Short again. And there might be a double opportunity here for Robert Bonnet. Up at 20. This double would be great for him, and he gets it. Now Beerling needs a fall through 20 to tie this round. Can't get it to go. And Robert Bonnet through a number of fall through 20 opportunities he got there. Finally converted on one of them. And Ray Beerling gets burned for missing some open 20s he had in that round. Robert Bonnet takes the first two points against the hammer. Ray Beerling will have to collect himself here, try to find that open 20 range. Short again here. See what Ray Beerling tries to do here. Might try to pull this disc off a peg and bring it back. Nope. Pushing towards the middle. We saw Hutchson try to play behind the pegs and play some defense in that last semifinal. Ray Beerling's thinking offense. Lose the shooter there on the follow through. Bonnet makes the 20. Ray Beerling short again, leaving the hanger 20 shot here. Bonnet knocks it down. Doesn't get the takeout, but that's okay. It's okay for the moment anyway. Beerling scoring that open 20. Probably be going for the ricochet 20 here. Is it on the other side? Oh, Bonnet gets lucky with that takeout. Nice roll from Bonnet in front of a peg. Beerling needed a takeout and a 20 on his final shot here just to make Bonnet shoot on his final shot. Bonnet doesn't even need this final shot. Does take it and does make the takeout. And he jumps out to a 4-0 lead in this semifinal. First to nine points to make it to the championship. So Beerling struggled with the open 20s in, the, in that first round and, and the start of that second round, although he did find the range later on. Did make an open 20 in that second round. And he'll be under pressure here from Bonnet. But it bounces out on him. Tough start of this semifinal for Beerling. Bonnet makes a mistake. Doesn't get the take out there. Beerling, though, going for the fall through, just sticks it, leaving another hanger 20 shot. And Bonnet converts on that one. Beerling makes the open 20. Still trailing in this round. Can't score a ricochet 20 here, but he'll bounce off a peg and try to change the angle so he has a shot later on. No angle here for a ricochet 20. 
Nice hide from Beerling, squarely behind a peg. Great shot there. Bonnet acknowledging how well hidden that disc is. I've seen Bonnet before not try to, uh, like, just to go for peels on some of these shots and not try to leave a shooter on at all. Essentially, like, trying to maximize the opportunity of getting the opponent disc off him, which is, he does there. Just a peel, putting pressure on him. Beerling for the open 20, he makes it. Two shots left for each player. Tied 2-2 in the 20s. Bonnet makes the 20. Beerling 2. Final shots. Lots of pressure here. Nice shot from Bonnet. Guarantees one point. And Beerling short on his final shot there. And Bonnet. Now leading six to nothing here in this semifinal. Great shots from Beerling to get back into that round and great shots from Bonnet to hold his nerve there when the lead evaporated. He was up to the task on those open 20s. He'll have the hammer here in this fourth round. Beerling long in his first 20 shot. See what Bonnet tries to do here. See if he goes for the fall through 20 or tries to roll away. Went for the follow through 20, leaves a hanger. Beerling makes the 20. Missing long there. Ray Beerling finally getting a lead in this semifinal. Bonnet working from behind. Probably going for the ricochet 20 here. Oh, and he went for it. Miss hit though. And Beerling collects a 20. It's got a firm advantage now in this round. Great spot here for Beerling. Two discs right to the outside. Even with a missed take out there, Beerling's going to win this round. And Beerling will get on the board here. Now trailing six to two. Robert Bonnet starts off this fifth round. Short, but perhaps too short for a 20 for Beerling. See how aggressively he goes for it. He does. He makes it. Misses there, but a good miss, missing the long. Bonnet going for the follow through again, leaving it short. Are you barely missing the hanger 20 though? Bonnet makes the ricochet 20, no takeout though. Oh, but barely missing that open 20. So if Bonnet can make a double takeout with any of his remaining three shots, he'll be in a position to win this round. Let's see if he goes for it right away. Oh, he did. And that now that's an inter interesting spot here. Ray Beerling might see the combo to hit this white disc and score a 20 for himself. Oh, well done from Beerling. Great shot there. Still though, he might have some work to do because Bonnet has a chance here to hide some discs behind the pegs and make these final shots for Beerling very difficult. Makes that takeout. But this next takeout 
I know Bonnet's gonna hide this one. This is a very difficult shot all the way on the other side of the board. Oh yes, and the disc popped when it hit the hole. Thankfully for Beerling, collected uh, enough speed to knock off that white disc. But when it popped uh, hitting the 20 hole, it wasn't on course to hit and stick. And with him losing the shooter there, it's a tie in this fifth round. Bonnet now leads seven to three and is two points away from making the finals and playing Andrew Hudson. Beerling to shoot first in this sixth round. Makes the 20. Bonnet makes the 20 there. Beerling short. That could be crucial. Bonnet makes the hanger 20. Beerling responding well there for that open 20. But he'll need a miss out of Bonnet. Who's really had strong rhythm here on these open 20s. Ooh. Bonnet might have hit that one a little bit too far. Chance here for Beerling to score a 20, try to get back into this round. No, unlucky, bounces out on him, gets robbed on that one. I think Bonnet's now in a firm position here to win this final round, up a 20 with the hammer, and the disc now to the outside. Pretty comfortable spot for him. Nice take out, leaving the disc well on the other side. Open board and Robert Bonnet can clinch the match with an open 20 here, and he does. Robert Bonnet will win this semifinal by a score of nine to three. He will play Andrew Hudson in the finals here in London.